We see it every day. If it's not arriving in birthday cards, it's hiding in the back of our sofas or being washed in our jeans pockets. We're of course talking about cash, the physical kind, not the variety contained within credit and debit cards. But have you ever wondered how banknotes and coins are made in different countries around the world? Well, that's what we're doing today. We've selected a number of nations to see how they make their cash. We'll even see how much it costs to manufacture both the metal and paper variety. So, let's get started. The U.S. has two different agencies responsible for making money. For paper bills, we have the Bureau of Engraving and Printing, or BEP, creating them for the Federal Reserve. This year, the Reserve has an operating budget of $1,095,800,000. BEP was formed in 1862 and currently has two printing facilities, one in D.C. and the other in Texas. In order to combat counterfeiting, there are 65 steps to make the money. The notes are made from 75% cotton and 25% linen. Before printing gets underway, the design has to be etched onto soft steel plates in a process called intaglio. The plates then undergo siderography, where the image is replicated in the printing press. Ink then covers the press, then wiped off, so only the grooves hold the ink. Then, sheets of blended paper have the design placed on them. If all goes well after inspection, the bills are further stamped with seals and serial markers. Other features such as watermarking and security thread are added. It currently costs around 6.2 cents to make $1 and $2 bills, while $100 bills cost 14 cents to make. If you fancy it, the BEP can sell you a bag of $10,000 worth of notes for just $45. However, it comes shredded and has no monetary value, sadly. As for coins, that's the job for the United States Mint, who was created during 1792. When the design of a coin is approved, it's replicated in a coin die. Large sheets of coiled metal are then fed through a machine. The size and type depend on what coins are being made. Like a cookie cutter, the machine punches out blank coins. The coins are then heated, washed, and dried. Then the sides are upset, as the industry calls it. They're then pressed on both sides at the same time with the coin die. If they pass inspection, the coins are bagged and ready to be sent out. The U.S. Mint actually loses millions with their lower denomination coins. During 2017, they produced 8.4 billion pennies. They lost $69 million compared to the penny's value. This is mostly due to the rising cost of zinc and copper key ingredients in U.S. coins. Over in the U.K., back in 2006, more than 60% of all transactions were made by cash. By 2018, it dropped to 28%. The company that prints the notes for the Bank of England is De La Rue. In 2016, the group decided to move away from creating paper-blended notes. Instead, starting with five-pound notes in 2016, they would be made with polymer. These notes are meant to last longer, be more difficult to counterfeit, and be trickier to tear. Polymer notes were first made by David Solomon for the Reserve Bank of Australia during a project from 1968 to 1988. The notes are made from biaxially oriented polypropylene, or BOPP. However, these notes do contain traces of tallow, a form of beef fat which is used for some candles and soaps, which has upset British vegetarians and vegans. Unlike making paper notes, polymer banknotes are made up of a number of layers and components that are applied in stages to create the finished product. Large sheets made of the notes with a see-through window are placed through a printer. The design is then inked on both sides. The sheets then go through a foiling machine. The queen's portrait is then added. Finally, they're UV treated and the notes are cut out. The coins in the UK are handled by the Royal Mint, which was founded in 1886, making this group 1,135 years old. Their headquarters in Latresant, Wales produce around 5 billion coins per year. During 2012, an estimated 28.9 billion coins were in circulation, which had the value of around 3.9 billion pounds. In that year, materials in the 10 pence coin were changed. Previously, the outside was formed with 75% copper and 25% nickel, while the inside was made of an alloy between the two. Afterwards, the outside was formed of 94% steel and 6% nickel. The coins are essentially made the same as the US. The regular UK coins are struck once with 70 tons of force to get the design imprinted. 
Any old, damaged, or rejected coins are tossed into a furnace at the end of the day. Workers at the site can't bring any coins in with them. If they do, it has to be stored in a locker within reception. The ground's security even consists of military police. After reports that India wasn't printing their own rupees, more on that shortly, the country's media began contesting that and opening up about the process. They have two paper mills that provide the sheets. They're based in the cities of Hoshangabad and Misuru. They're operated by the government and the Reserve Bank of India, or RBI, respectively. While minting and printing facilities are located in Nashik, Dewas, Misiru, and Salboni. The sheets are first treated with security features before being placed into the printing machines. The added security consists of a three-dimensional watermark, micro-lettering, and security threads. Once in the printer, further security features are added from the ink, as well as the overall design of the notes. Each of these sheets can hold 40 pieces of 2,000 rupee notes. The country uses around 22,000 metric tons of paper per year. By the end of June 2016, in the space of a year, the RBI produced 21.2 billion banknotes, amounting to 34.21 billion rupees, or 502 million dollars. The cost of printing a 200 rupee note is said to be 2.93 rupees, while a 2,000 rupee note costs 3.54 rupees to make. Over in China, they currently hold the Guinness World Record for longest surviving banknote. Dating back to 1375, it's an example of the Da Ming Tongqing Bao Chao. The state-owned China Banknote Printing and Minting Corporation is responsible for making the money in the country today. On top of that, they even help create cash for numerous nations all over the globe. According to reports, nations such as Thailand, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, India, Brazil, and Poland all used their minting facilities. However, India was one of the countries to deny the reports. During 2018, China's minting facilities had 18,000 employees, while at the US's Bureau of Engraving and Printing, they had around 2,000. Printing abroad and shipping in cash can backfire massively. During 2018, the Liberia government, whose money was printed in Sweden at the time, announced that they were missing nearly $100 million. Final fact finish. The Guinness World Record for highest denomination on a banknote was achieved during 2008 in Zimbabwe. With the African nation ravaged by inflation, the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe began printing banknotes for 100 billion Zimbabwean dollars. However, this was the equivalent value of one US dollar. As such, this $100 billion note could only get people a couple of loaves of bread. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.